Hey guys, so I know it's been a while since I've made one of these for the Air Cadets, um, but keep your requests coming. Um, as I said in my one of my previous videos, I am going to get back into checking my YouTube all the time, so I do really appreciate all your comments and I will try and get back to as many as possible. So today I just wanted to talk about sewing. I'm amazed at how many of the new ones have said like um, they've not done sewing before or they don't know how to sew or they'll just get their mom to sew the brassard. Yeah, you can do that. But what happens if you go to camp and you need to make a repair or, I don't know, it's something you should learn how to do. So I'm just going to go through really quick how to sew your brassard. This is mine. It's looking a bit discoloured, flat at the moment, a bit boring. Um, obviously I've not used this in about five years so it is fairly, fairly old. Looks like this. Got my first aid badge down here. So at the moment it's at the back. This first aid badge in different squadrons and everywhere you go it changes all the time and sometimes it depends on if you've got a marksman badge here um, but sometimes I swear they just move them around so all I'm going to do today I'm going to take it off and show you how to sit stitch it back on and then the stitching that I'm going to use here is just going to be exactly the same for any of your other badges that you'll get on here I always think it's a good idea to be carrying a little mending kit around with you, especially if you go to camp because you never know if say a button's going to pop off or one of your badges is coming loose or something on your jumper, something like that. So the best thing I find are these little ones that you get in hotels. If you can just carry one of those around with you, you'll be so popular at camp. Um, the needle I'm going to be using, I tried to get like the smallest one I could possibly use. It's fairly tiny. I can't even see it on here. Um, the reason you don't want a really, really big needle is that when you push it through your brassard, you're going to make holes. And obviously, the less noticeable it can be, the better. Um, if you have trouble threading a needle this small, that's what these little things are for. I'm sure you guys have all got sewing kits at home that you can borrow or dig through. And it'll have one of these in. So all you do with that is pop it. Oh, I can't do it. You push that through the eye of the needle, so pop it through the eye of the needle, put the thread through, it's supposed to be easier on this bit, like that, and then pull it back through the needle and there you have it, it's threaded. I always find it easier just to try a little bit, a little knot in the end here, and that's just so you know that this thread's not going to come off halfway through you sewing. So let's get started. Obviously I've already got my first aid badge on here, so the first thing I'm going to do is take off that thread. I'm just literally going to put, be putting it back on. And I use this for that. So can you see it's got a sharp end here? That's just for hooking underneath the thread and it literally just pulls up and cuts it. That's what those are for if you come across one of these in your sewing kits. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is unpick this one I've already got on. Uh, might be easier from the back which looks like a mess hopefully we can neaten this up I don't know what I was thinking the first time I sewed this so I'm just going around making little cuts in these stitches should allow me basically just to rip this off here yeah. pretty much cool so there's my badge and you can tell how old my brassard is because it's kind of got this like discoloured circle all the way around the edge so I know that they've now moved to the front of the brassard, but I'm just going to stick mine back on in the same place because I don't use it anymore and it's more to show you guys how to sew than place my badges. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and thread your needle. So if you want to use this, you push that through the eye of the needle, put the thread through that thing and then pull it on. It should come straight on to your needle like this. I always just tie a little knot in the end of it so that it's not going to fall off halfway through me sewing. Like this, it's got a little knot in the end, so hopefully this is not going to fall off. 
So before I start actually placing my badge, we need to secure this to the thing. So all I do is push it in for a teeny tiny little stitch. Pull it through till it gets to the end. There's the end there. And then just go over that same stitch you've just made a couple of times and that will actually act as a knot. And I think it just looks neater than having a little knot in your material. Like that. So that's fairly secure. I'm like pulling it now. And then the hardest part is just getting the badge on. So blah blah blah, make sure it's the right way up. That looks good. Gonna pop it through my badge, pulling it all the way back on, and that's just gonna sit exactly over my knot there. So that's not gonna fall off, and now the easiest part, you're just gonna go round it and sew it on. So close to the border as possible to make your stitches basically invisible. Just push it all the way through to the back. And that's one there. Push it from the back, be careful not to trap the edges of your brassard in the stitch because that will just make it awkward. So the same thing that I'm doing at the front, I'm doing at the back as well. Just pushing it through from the back to the front. Move it a little bit further along. Ooh, that's not good. And pushing it through. Can't even find this one. I'm just using my thumb here um, so the badge doesn't slip while I'm doing this. So, ooh, that's not right. Yay! As you can see, really, really not hard. Anyone can sew. going to flip it over to the back for this one so that you can see what I'm doing. This is where I've been so far so it's a little bit different from my old one. So my thread is around here. Gonna be pushing it through like this. Bring it through, mind it doesn't get caught on corners like that. My needle just fell off. Get that knot back in. There we go. This will do. I just want to tie it off.
probably just one more to finish it off like that so that's good and tight and then just cut away this excess with our cutter again and we are done on totally sewed on badge and just copy that method for any badge that you're sewing on it can be any of these which there's green thread all over they look amazing from the back and there we are that's done yay